Paula, thank you very much for joining us on uh, OGV TV. My pleasure, Daniel. Thanks for having me. No problem at all. You've recently joined um, ACA in a new role. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so I'm the new Chief Digital Officer at uh, ACA VP. Um, so it's fantastic. ACA VP is an uh, oil and gas company in the ACA portfolio. And I used to work in Cognite, which was the industrial software company in the ACA portfolio. So it's fantastic to move from one to the other, take perspectives and experiences uh, with me into this like extremely exciting role. There's lots going on in this space, that, that is for sure. Um, how do Aka BP see their role moving forward? So Aka BP, um, to be honest, like I genuinely don't think there's anywhere better to do this role than an Aka BP. So Aka BP sees themselves as they're the rebels in the industry. So it's Norway's second largest oil and gas company, but with a clear kind of like target to really disrupt the industry. And we're really working on what we're calling a productivity revolution, which is really about taking as much waste as we can out of the industry as it is today so that we're really fit kind of to thrive in this volatile and uncertain world that we live in. I think it's a great angle to take to be disruptive. There's lots of disruptors here, um, especially at ONS. Um, from a digital perspective, how do you envisage that, you, that you're going to um, facilitate that? Yeah, so I think dig digital is just a core throughout this whole disruption. So if you look at the way the kind of activity we have right now, so we've never had so many capital projects in the hopper. And there we're using digital to completely transform the way we do project execution. So moving from documents to data. And then for the first time ever, we will, along with the physical asset, receive the fully equipped digital twin. I'm super excited about that. That's a game changer. And what that does then is that digital twin enables our kind of future operating model. So where we're running our operations kind of basically based on data. So all we're doing around production, optimization, around lowering costs, around lowering CO2 will be fueled by our dynamic digital twin. But of course, we're not waiting until the green fields are ready. We're using it today, like in our operating assets. So we've never operated as many assets as we do today either. So it's very exciting. And it's a wonderful time for us to really kind of plug in and get value out. And touched on the energy transition piece there and the decarbonization side of things. Are you able to give us any kind of specifics about how you're achieving that? Yeah, so our, our goal is to be net zero by 2030, but we are a pure play oil and gas company and we want to do oil and gas in the best possible way. So we're very focused on kind of lower, low carbon, so having like lowest carbon emissions in the world basically is where we're targeting. And ways that we're doing that, it's obviously like electrifying uh, part of our portfolio and then also using kind of data and digital and other technologies to really kind of reduce our own emissions output. So there's a ton that we're doing there and it's, I think it's really exciting and we can really get to like a very kind of sustainable production of oil and gas. Well, it sounds like you're in the right place at the right time. So we wish you well with your new role and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the event. Thanks a million. Great to see you.